In this video, I am going to talk about D2A3, that is Helicobacter pylori infection as a cause of stomach ulcers. So let us see what a stomach ulcer is. Now, in the lining of the stomach, that is the stomach wall, when cells are damaged or inflamed, then that particular part is what we call as an ulcer. So this is a stomach ulcer or a gastric ulcer. Now, it was earlier known that this was caused due to stress and other conditions and that it is also caused due to exposure of excess of acids on the stomach lining. Now, this is caused due to degradation of the mucus that is there on in the stomach. Now, apart from this, it is also seen that these ulcers are caused to due to an infection of a particular bacterium that is called as Helicobacter pylori. Now, this Helicobacter pylori is responsible for the loss of mucus in the stomach lining and when there is loss of mucus in the stomach lining, it leads to the acids being in contact with the cells leading to ulcers. So here the acid as well as pepsin also affects it. Now let us see the role of mucus here. So here this is the layer of mucus and the stomach. So in a normal case we can see that there is a layer of mucus that is present on the stomach wall which protects it. So what it does is it traps the microbes so it doesn't let them to be affected and then removed off. It helps in lubrication of the food and it also protects the stomach from HCL and pepsin. Now pepsin is a protein digesting hormone so it can lead to self digestion. Now the Helicobacter pylori which can cause stomach ulcer also has a particular role to play here. So the structure of Helicobacter pylori is that it shows tuft of flagellas and on its surface it shows certain proteins. These are the lipoproteins that are present on the external wall of these bacteria, and this lipoproteins help in attaching to the host cell. So in this case it helps in attaching them to the wall of the stomach and this Helicobacter pylori is supposed to be releasing an enzyme called urease. So let us first see here this is the normal stomach lining. So like we said before the normal stomach lining has a main layer of mucus on the cells. Now when there is a Helicobacter pylori infection then this Helicobacter pylori starts to release an enzyme that is called as urease. So releasing urease leads to degradation of the mucus lining that is there above the cells in the stomach. When the mucus lining is degraded or mucus lining is lost then pepsin and HCL both acts on the cells because they are now exposed the cells are now exposed so these can act on those on the cells and when they act on the cells they lead to infections or damage of the lining of the cells so when this damage happens this is what we call as the uh, ulcers that is the gastric ulcers or the stomach ulcer now, if this condition persists for a very long time, that is around 20 to 25 years, then it can lead to stomach cancer also. The treatment for this includes taking of antacids or taking up antibiotics or taking up proton pump inhibitors. The proton pump inhibitors are drugs which prevent the forming of stomach acids.